cheesy chicken roll-ups and all it takes is two to two and a half pounds of boneless skinless chicken thighs or breast. Add that right to the pot, as well as a cup of chicken broth. I'm just gonna move my chicken so it's mostly submerged in the broth. It's fine if some of it peaks above. I'm gonna now secure my lid and I'm going to pressure cook this at high pressure for eight minutes. And now that we're done pressure cooking, we're gonna perform a quick release. Just like this. And now that the pin is dropped, we're gonna take the lid off the pot. And you'll see there's a lot more liquid in the pot now than when we began because that's from all the chicken fat, basically, from the thighs. Even though they were pretty much trimmed, any kind of chicken's gonna release juices regardless. Take a large mixing bowl and some tongs and simply remove my very tender, boneless, skinless chicken thighs or breasts. It smells so good every time after you pressure cook. And now I wanna take a ladle and reserve about a half a cup of the broth from the pot. And as for the remaining chicken broth, I can either discard it or I can save it for something else. Whether I'm making soup or a sauce, it's great to have around the house. Okay, in the meantime, let's focus on our chicken. I wanna shred my chicken in one of two ways. I can either do it with a pair of forks, which will happen very easily since it's so tender, or I can use a hand mixer. This is a great little hack to have. If you have a little hand mixer lying around, same thing you'd make a cake batter with, it's gonna shred your chicken so easily. Let me show you. Just start on a low speed because we don't want the chicken to fly all over the place. So far we have two ingredients in here. We have the chicken, we have the broth. I'm gonna add in between two to four cups of a shredded cheese of your choice. I like a cheddar or a cheddar blend, that's fine. As well as an optional half a cup of a salsa verde. Then I'm just gonna stir all of my chicken up with the cheese. Okay, so this is the part where the recipe begins to live up to its name. We have the cheesy chicken portion of it done. And now I wanna take that cheesy chicken mixture and return it to the Instant Pot. All right. And then we're gonna hit that saute button to give the pot some heat. And as the pot begins to heat up, that's when all of the cheese will really melt into the chicken to give it this amazing, cheesy, chickeny consistency. If you want it thin and out, that's when you use that extra broth that you reserved. You don't have to use it, it's an option. We're just about ready for our fifth ingredient, and that is going to be our wraps. It can be any kind of wrap you want. I am going to use tortillas, flour tortillas, but you can use corn tortillas, you can use uh, those egg wraps. I mean, look at this. Look at all that cheese in the chicken. I have my cheesy chicken roll up, just bursting at the seams here, and let's give it a try. Mmm, mmm. Couldn't be easier or cheesier. 